Hello and welcome to the roundup of this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 24 June 2022. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly senior online writer Darren Parker asks whether it's possible to convert old coal mines into successful farms. The rehabilitation of South Africa's closed coal mines has long been a source of contention among miners, environmental activists and affected communities. However, amid the rising unemployment rate and soaring cost of living, much thought has been given to whether old coal mine properties can be repurposed to provide agribusiness opportunities for surrounding communities. The engineering news features focus on welding and cutting, where the testing phase of a steam drum is finalized. Green building and industries, where green ratings for buildings offer benefits during the economic crunch and roads and bridges, where the majority of Sanral's road network exceeds its design life. The Mining Weekly features focus on a review of the mining in Daba, where decarbonization strategies are necessary for mining, and manganese, where the green economy will require more commodities. This week's business leader is Matthews Poza, non-executive vice chairperson of Jubilee Metals Group. And as this week's cartoon shows, South Africa's mining production plummeted by nearly 15% year on year in April, owing to strikes, electricity and rail disruptions, and ongoing bottlenecks at ports. The worse than expected performance is all the more painful as it comes amid high commodity prices, which have helped prop up national finances at a time when the economy is still struggling to recover from the COVID shock. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly, the magazine that offers you news about developments in the real economy. Happy reading and see you next time.